Hey everybody. So this is going to be a collective message. We're just gonna see what comes out. Oh, we got somebody that's worried. All right, so somebody here is worried. Okay, this could be your person that you are dealing with. They are worried. Maybe there's somebody that you aren't in communication with because somebody here needs to clear their head. Hmm. Bored and lonely. Okay, so this person is lonely without you. I feel like some of you may have walked away from someone um, and now they are starting to worry. They're starting to worry here. Maybe you needed time to clear your head from this situation. And somebody's starting to worry. Somebody is for sure, for sure starting to worry. Emotional. Yes. Somebody is emotional here. They are... This person that you're dealing with, guys... I feel like you guys walked away from somebody or somebody walked away from you and you haven't reached out to this person. They haven't heard from you. You haven't heard from them. Take the story how it resonates. Now they're starting to worry and they're stressing out. They're emotional. They're starting to stress out. Yeah. Look at this. Clear head. It came up twice. Okay. This person is love struck over you, but they are fearful. They're in their head. They they could be having restless nights. Maybe they had a dream or is having bad dreams. Somebody here is they got playful and amused and happy. Somebody here could be playing, pretending like they are happy. Possibly like on social media, like they're just soulmates, like they're just together. But somebody, oh, somebody is upset. Somebody is really mad. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is, and then we got gossip. What I'm seeing here is somebody walked away from somebody, possibly for another connection, or um, they just walked away because they needed to clear their head. This person got bored. And decided to let me, let me, you know, let me do a little bit of playing. They may be online posting pictures like they're happy, but I promise you they're not. <laughs> this person is still really upset about something that happened previously with between you and between you two. Um, this person could feel like you were their soulmate. Um, or they're pretending online like they're so like they found their soulmate. Okay. But I'm getting that there could possibly be like a lot of gossiping going on as well too. Give me one more card. Tell me more. Oh no, that's too many. Way too many. Gossip, yep. There's a lot of gossip going on about what's going on in someone's home, possibly with someone's man. Okay, we got King here, the Divine Masculine. Okay, somebody's ego won't let them make the right decision. Okay, somebody's ego is in the way, for sure, for sure. Somebody could have slipped off with a karmic here. Somebody could have slipped off with the karmic here. Um, and, and the situation has gotten real tense, okay? Hence, that's why I feel like that's this a gossip going on here. They could be going on vacation with this person. They could be um, on pictures at them, you know, kissing and trying to, like I said, I feel like somebody's playing a role here. Playful and amused and happy. Relaxed and calm and desired. This person could be on taking vacations, taking trips with the karmic. Okay. But all the while they're thinking about you, reminiscing. Hmm. Hmm. 
All right. I wonder what the gossip is about. All right. Tell me more about the situation. What is this person action towards my collective? Benching. Yeah. Benching is putting someone on hold, has potential, but not sure yet. Waiting, maybe, and the grass is greener. So your person feel like the grass is greener on the other side, okay? This is their clap back. Somebody's clapping back. Somebody got a clap back. This is their clap back. And then there's a lot of, like I said, gossip, tea, sis. You see what they did? Sis. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, and see, some of it, some of them have gotten into another connection. Okay, and trust me, that person is ratchet as hell. And what their intentions is, somebody here is trying to go viral. Like, what a somebody's trying to go viral online. Basic. Somebody could be feeling like maybe that you're simple. Or unexciting because you haven't clapped back because you haven't responded to the gossip. Maybe some of you are seeing uh, seeing what's going on and deciding like I'm not gonna respond to that. So they may feel like oh she's she's uh, she ain't with the shit or he ain't with it. Keep it a honey. Show your true self. Be honest with yourself. Avoid hidden motives. Okay, so somebody need to keep it real, show their true colors, show how ratchet they really is. Spirit might be saying, it might be time to turn up, show these people what it really is. <laughs> All right, yeah, see, we got okay, boomer. We even got the old people over here clapping back, honey. We even got the older people over here making their little clapbacks, their little comebacks. <laughs> All right, cap. Somebody say, look, somebody's. Capping, doing a whole bunch of capping. Somebody really on a budget. And they trying to act like they got it all together, but somebody's lying. They really on a budget. But on the net, it's a different story. Now we got shook. This is the tower. So something out of the blue happens. Something out of the blue happens. Or it's getting ready to happen. Okay, and somebody is getting canceled for sure, for sure. Dismissing someone or a situation, rejecting someone or an idea, not interested. You could be an influencer. Okay, so you're focused on other things instead of all of this mess and gossip that's going on. Give me some clarifying. Tell me more about benching. Knight of Wands. Yeah, see, somebody is like, they'll be back. They'll be going back and forth, okay? And this is whoever that you're dealing with. They are thinking about you. Nine of Swords and the Six of Cups. Like, they, they're thinking about you, but they possibly are collaborating with someone, with someone else. Shipping. Yeah. They may have found someone. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. This person may be spoiling them, giving them gifts, giving them money. Basic. Judgment. Okay. Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. This could be the two people that are involved. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But judgment here. And a chariot, okay? And a decision, okay? So somebody was living a double life. Somebody was juggling here. So somebody uh, needed to make a decision on who they want to be with, who they wanted to build with, possibly who they want to get married to or take things further with, okay? So somebody had to make a choice. Why well, is keep it one here? The magician. Somebody's doing something on purpose, to piss somebody off. 
the magician and the five of swords. Yeah, somebody doing this shit on purpose. Okay, they want to get a reaction. I feel like this person want to get a reaction out of you. That's fine on you. And they have moved on to another connection. Okay, just to be real, this person is having regrets. Okay, could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. For sure, for sure, a Capricorn here with the devil card here. But um, they did this to prove a point. I'm getting a proof of point, possibly to a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Leo, Virg Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or an Aquarius. Okay, Boomer. Seven of Swords. Ooh. King of Pentacles. Hierophant. Someone could be married here, and they are having an affair. We got Cap. Six of Pentacles. Somebody gave somebody a choice. But somebody had a bunch of different offers. A bunch of different options. Okay. And there's that tower. Six of Wands and the Three of Cups. So somebody celebrating that they got picked. And somebody uh, got cut off. Somebody here is on a separation. Like I feel like somebody could be married. Um, and somebody here got picked. Could be... A Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, and somebody got put on hold. Could be Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, we got shook here. Like I said, this is a tower moment. Yeah. See, something out of the blue happens. Okay. And I feel like this person, your person could have been stressed out about the situation or overthinking the situation. But there was definitely an ending. Like something no longer is going to work. And I feel like um, whoever got put on hold is focusing on themselves. Now we got canceled. Yeah, Ace of Wands. It's like, yeah, no more, no more get togethers. No more shopping sprees. No more late night creeps. It's like, no. Mm -mm. That ain't going to happen no more. Yep, find somebody else. Because it won't be me. Whoever this is, somebody's guard is up. Like, that won't happen again. Okay? Mm -mm. I feel like for some of you, this person walked away from you. And they picked another connection over you. And they were, just to be clear, like I said, they are not happy in that connection. I feel like they did it to prove a point. Okay? Let's see what this person wants to say. See? See? I'm going to tell you how I truly feel. So this person just isn't ready at this moment. So I'm going to tell you really what's really real or what's going on. But they plan on it. I know that you are the one I want to spend my life with. But we also got to stop pushing me. I need to make my own choices. And look at this. We are on hold, but I'm coming back for you. So this person put you on hold for another connection. Um... And they're not being honest and telling you what's really going on. I don't feel like the connection that they have with that person is, is genuine. I just don't feel that. I'm actually going to pull some cards. I want to see how they how they uh, feel about this other connection. Matter of fact, we're going to use the Romance Angel cards. We have soulmate, finances, and career, and engagement, and wedding. Wow. So someone could definitely be married here, or someone is very financially stable. They feel like this person could be like their soulmate. This person could help them a lot financially, and this could be someone that they want to take things to the next level with, okay? Pay attention to the red flags. And it is safe for you to let your guard down. I told you this person is codependent. Your person is codependent on this person for money. I feel like 
they're being deceptive okay so this could be an illusion of what they're portraying to this person a lot of playfulness a lot of childlike energy i feel like they have a lot of sex okay could be a lot of that going on a lot of flirting i feel like there's a lot of attraction here and then i feel like they take vacations and stuff like they they go out of town and go on vacations and things to that nature i'm getting like a lot of fun type energy but a heart-to-heart -heart conversation is getting ready to, to pop off okay somebody is waiting i feel like this your person is going to want to reconcile with you we got reconciliation and it's going to happen soon i feel like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation is getting ready to happen I feel like right now, this person just, your person could just feel like, oh, this person is my soulmate. Like, we do, this person is, uh, does this for me. They do that for me. My soulmate here. The Ace of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah. They've been telling this person that they want to collab and work together. Finances and career. Eight of Cups, the Hangman. This person could have been waiting for them to leave, to walk away from you. This person has been telling them lies, playing mind games with their head. Oh, shh. This person is playing mind games with your person's head. Yep, this person was waiting. Could be, definitely could be a Capricorn. This person was waiting in the cut for your person to walk away from you. Okay. Mind you... There is a codependency. Like, your person is codependent on this person for money. I just feel like that. Okay? But this person was waiting for your person to walk away from you. And then we got engagement. Yeah, this person, they could be looking for your person to give them a ring or give them, um, or to get engaged. The sun could be a Leo. Yep, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn could be involved. And the Empress. Yeah, this person, somebody here is like in love. They're trying to get your person to fall in love with them. Pay attention to the red flags. Six of Pentacles. Somebody's giving somebody a heads up. Maybe your person is trying to give this, give this person a heads up that this is all games okay this is all mind games two of swords okay this is all mind games your person feels like they have control okay while the whole time they're sitting up here thinking about you thinking about the person from their past it is safe to love then we got seven of swords it is not safe for this person to love your person is over here playing games with them playing mind games and getting what they want from out of them four of cups in the in the death card Told you your person is steady wanting to come back. Why is heart to heart conversation here? The high priestess and the four of wands. This person could already be in a connection, could already be married. This person could already have something going on. There's going to be some type of heart to heart conversation. Why is the four of wands here? Page of wands and the seven of cups. And the fool. Some of my, your, this they could be <coughs> they could be um trying really really hard to get your person to take a leap of faith and get married and to marry them queen of pentacles yeah this is the wife energy they could be really 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 trying to get your person to make this make a decision this person definitely has a plan Okay, it could be a Leo with the strength card here and the Queen of Cups. That why these two energies keep coming out? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and a Leo. But your person here is about to have some major regrets. Or they are about to have some. Yeah, see, somebody's feeling bad. Because somebody um has commitment issues. And somebody's trying to get somebody to move forward or move on for good. Okay, this person that I feel like it's a karmic energy. They're trying to get your person to walk away from you for good. 
They're trying to get your person to marry them. So your person is over there. Your this person is over there putting a lot of could be even magic could be involved. Okay, but I feel like your person is still like they still go back to memories that they had with you. Okay. Let's use the these. Let's see. What does this person want to say to my collective? What does this person want to say? It was my fault, but I blamed you. And also your person is afraid to contact you. And they're saying we'll be together again. And I told you they can't stop thinking about you. They think about you, even though they're in a con another connection. They know it was their, their fault, and they are still attracted to you. They feel like you were the best thing that ever happened to them. And they're waiting for a sign for you from you, okay? What else? At this time, they are not available because they're in another connection. I left you before you could leave me. You and I were too young. Maybe you've known this person for a long time. Maybe I'm getting like since high school, you've been with them. But they're saying they really want you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. They know they screwed up. They know they screwed up. What's going on between I'm I'm going to call this person your uh, masculine and I'm going to call this other party your karmic because that's what I feel like. What's going on between the masculine and the karmic intuition, twin flame, time apart, balance, unavailable. And integrity at the bottom we got support this person is supporting your masculine financially okay it may have started off as like a strictly sexual connection um, but somebody was in denial about that how they really truly feel like the passion okay somebody here wanted to take it slow I feel like you're you're your um, masculine wanted to go slow, but she possibly made him make a decision. She was waiting, waiting in the cut. Mm hmm. Waiting in the cut. So we got intuition. You already know the answer that you seek. We got twin flame. This is a divine counterpart. And time apart some distance will help bring clarity I feel like this is I, I feel like even though I asked about the divine masculine and uh, the karmic I do feel like maybe during a separation period that you had with this with your divine masculine this person came into the picture your person could have felt like this person was bringing balance into their life. So they decided to take a leap of faith. They took a leap of faith with this person. They decided to take a leap of faith with this damn, with this damn karmic. So now they're unavailable. 
He says, this person is, unabil is unable to give you all you deserve and integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? What else? Longing. I feel like your masculine is longing. I feel like they were longing for a soulmate or something, or some type of connection. But at the same time, they wanted to take their time. And I feel like this happened during when you guys were on a separation or on a break. Retreat. I told you. I keep getting it. Like, they are vacationing. I just feel like they're vacationing. This karmic is doing everything. Is doing everything. For some of you, this is a marriage. Warning and marriage was just sticking out. Doing everything to keep your masculine away from you. But they damn sure took this leap of faith. They damn sure. They for damn sure did it. They for damn sure did it. They did it. All right. So. That's the message that I have for you guys. I want to pull from this deck as well. Just to get a little bit of tea from here. Your person may fear um <coughs> sorry guys. <coughs> okay. Your person here they're stuck. They're at a crossroad. They're at a damn crossroad. They fear. They have some type of fear. Of being stuck. <coughs> oh, I don't know why all of a sudden I'm just sneezing. Maybe something around the fall. Something that may occur. But right now, I feel like your person is having... They fear... They have some type of fear <coughs> of being stuck. Right now, this your your person, your divine masculine, is at a crossroad. <sighs> Balancing the scales. This is just this energy. And then we got Dark Knight of the Soul. This is like the devil energy. Could be a Capricorn. Has this person, yeah, look at this. Soulmate, third party. Your person thinks that this third party is their soulmate. <laughs> wow. There is definitely... Spirit is going to work in this situation. There is some lessons that definitely need to be. Uh, your person has to go through some things here. Okay. he This person has not had their awakening. They're going to end up releasing this and abandoning a situation. Um, they're going to have to do that in order to get to your level. Okay. Now we got the barrier. That's someone who's blocking I feel like your person is going to realize that they settled. For sure. But they definitely fear something here. Oh, they're afraid to reach out. They will in time. They will. But right now, they're afraid to speak up for themselves or reach out. Yeah, they're stuck and it's causing an ending because they're being stuck. They're, they aren't 
opening up and speaking how they truly feel. So there is a closing of a cycle. They are definitely wearing a mask. They're wearing a mask. Dark night of the soul. And this is their shadow side. This is understanding. The answer is no. They aren't reinventing they need to reinvent themselves or they're trying to reinvent themselves i told you that they are thinking about you but they're trying to purge from you this is that karmic trying to erase history this is the karmic trying to get your divine masculine to forget about you they're contemplating what action to take towards you but you guys are on a break. Yeah, you guys are on a separation. And like I said, some of you are married. So that is what's keeping you bound or keeping this person bound to this situation. They can't stop thinking about it because they feel like maybe they were supposed to marry you or you guys are married. Okay. And they settled. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so that's going to be the message that I have for you guys. If this message resonates, go ahead and hit the like button, y'all. Share with your family and your friends. Um, if you're interested in booking a personal, guys, information is in the drop box below. And I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.